Can customer experience deeply affect your market performance? How much effort does it take to build a brand name? How important is customer experience to drive business growth? Well, in the words of the iconic Steve Jobs, get closer than ever to your customers. So close that you can tell them what they need before they realize it themselves. Welcome to Force Edu, a place where all business and supply chain enthusiasts come for a weekly dose of knowledge. If you want to know how customer experience is evolving, stay tuned till the end of this video. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, you are missing out on value adding content. Today, customer experience is the backbone of business. During the 1980s in India, customers had to wait up to three years, only to get the delivery of a vehicle they ordered, but thanks to liberalization, privatization, and globalization done by the government on recommendation of the World Bank, competitors entered the market, and the power of customer experience was realized. Did you know that angry customers are good for the business? Because for every one customer who complains, there are 10 lost customers who do not complain, but simply switch to a competitor. So businesses should always look out for this indicator and take proactive measures to reduce it. But can customer experience be measured? Well, voice of customer does exactly that. It measures the customer's needs and wants, and if successfully implemented, a voice of customer program can generate quite high revenues and create a brand name. Look into the vision statement of Amazon, it states their intention on being the world's most customer-centric company. But how will the pandemic change customer experience forever? Should voice of customer programs be implemented at this time? Quoting the founder of the Net Promoter Score Fred Reichelt, to my mind, this is precisely the moment to ask customers how you can help and how you can do better. The Net Promoter Score is a classic customer experience metric. It measures customer loyalty, the customers who give you a score of 10, are those who will go out of their way to promote your business at no benefit to them. Such is the power of an excellent customer experience. When collecting data for voice of customer popular metrics like Net Promoter Score and Customer Effort Score can be evaluated which give quantitative insights into where the company stands. The Net Promoter Score or NPS can even be used for industry benchmarking. In COVID times, the front-end employees, such as those in the banking sector face the maximum challenges, as they have to maintain customer relationships despite social distancing, and be in constant touch digitally with their customers. According to Adobe's 2020 Digital Trends report, the majority of companies stated that their key focus this year was on customer experience. The crux is to use technology to capture the voice of customers and to increase the customer touch points. For startups, those that invest in customer experience are expected to come on the other side of the valley of death in post-COVID era. That's it from our end for this week. If you have watched this till the end please give it a thumbs up and remember to share it with fellow enthusiasts.